I'll cool. be honest, oh, I didn't remember Tanjiro going this badass. That was pretty in sick. Moment in I, the manga. I, don't, I don't think he did, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that was that the whole thing was pretty sick. The only thing that I think David we talked or you talked about it before we started this whole thing was just the insane power boost set that uh Tanjiro got. <laughs> when he was getting his ass kicked before uh power up <clears throat> and then like and then uh upper six she got her full belts back, power up, and Tanjiro was still able to keep up with her. That's that's okay. what happens when he watches people die around him. He he couldn't be Rengoku. Okay. He needs to get out, he needs to live up to his standards. I don't know. That's mm-hmm. that's what I thought. But but the whole entire thing I thought oh, was really sick though. Still, and then too. he mentioned too how like oh my dad was the one who got the scar. I was the one born with it. Dude, that was pretty okay, cool. Sir. I actually know what happened with this. Like actually, because the whole thing because at some point his scar did change, and I thought like okay maybe this was just like the animation or they just decided you know that it looked better or something because I thought it was just like a full just a blop like a blotch scar. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, oh, then it, it's like then, a wicked birthmark. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, then there was a like a spot in the middle of it that was back to his, his normal skin tone, I guess. And I thought mm. like, oh, maybe that was just <laughs> production changes. And then uh, no, yeah, he, apparently wow, he actually wait, got wait, his head injured. Wait, I just threw you a photo, man. I was just gonna let it go. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't too uh, worried about the scar. I was like, ah, eh, we'll, we'll learn about it. And then they, yeah. then they actually told us about it, and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh-huh. So, yeah, apart from, you know, Tanjiro just being an absolute badass, and then obviously, you know, Nezuko That's coming in clutch at the end and just being equally badass yep. since it's been a while since we've seen her. Um, mm-hmm. The most important thing that we haven't discussed about is, is I'm curious if your guys' thoughts on the uh, the muscle mice that we've Dude, seen in the last awesome. episode. they're awesome. I love those. I love those. I love those. <laughs> they're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, would... I died <laughs> when I saw those in the manga, and I know that was a big part for Sasha as well. Like, they are so funny. Dude, if, if they... like, seeing them brought to life and just hearing, like, their little voice of, like, you know. Muscle, muscle, muscle. muscle. <laughs> muscle, muscle. <laughs> if, uh, if they ever... for muscle is Kiniku. If, so. if they ever make little figures of them, I, uh, I'll buy an entire army of them. Army, sir. There's only Army. two. That, well, right. I suppose. Oh, there's but... more. They, I think they showed more when when. Uh, That's what I thought because they needed Zenitsu more. Zenitsu for... was like talk or no. Uh, Inosuke, Inosuke was talking. There's like four. Uh, Tengen and he was just like, "What the hell are these things?" He's like, "These are the most like well trained like muscle mice that, that we have." Uh, the two that showed up in like the, the underground place, the same two that brought. Uh, Zenitsu. Inosuke sword. Yeah, but I thought there was I'm like pretty four. Sure there's just the same two. Oh. I'm pretty sure there's two. I'll have to check. I'm pretty sure there's a couple more, but I'll fact check it. I'll fact check it. I go back to the mod. Anyway, but they're awesome. I mean, this army, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm basically going to put them in every little opening I have in my figures. Or my for figure some, displays. F- for some reason, though, when I saw them the first time, like, I just thought of, like, oh, look, the monsters from Cinderella grew up in uh, <laughs> Japan. That's even funnier. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty oh, good. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. Uh, but, man, yeah, those monsters, I think. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what's up with, like, uh, like Demon Slayer's comedy, I just I just love it. It's so, reason, good. I, it's so good. Everything is just yeah. so good. Yeah. It is good. <clears throat> Even the dude, like oh sorry, go ahead. Just go ahead. No, 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 you go first, friend. Uh, uh, I was just gonna say when we last talked about Demon Slayer is I think um because I was saying like in the first episode or whatever I felt like the comedy <clears throat> was a bit heavy handed, but uh-huh. I totally agree to your point, and I think it was like both Sren and Taylor that were just saying like oh, I don't care from the <laughs> Seiyu's perspectives like. You just know how much fun they're having, oh, like yeah. bringing these scenes to life and stuff. And I think that's like a really big thing of just like how really they've embodied the character so well that makes like oh yeah this sort of just outrageous comedy <laughs> even better. Well, you can definitely well, like, tell that these voice actors love their characters too. Like I, I feel like they put so much more effort into these characters. I mean, I mean, obviously, like Kirito's voice actor, like no matter what he does, that man goes like a hundred percent. Same thing mm-hmm. with uh, with Tanjiro's guy. Like that guy mm-hmm. just enjoys and just loves their characters that they play. Specifically, these two. Yeah, just like how Tanjiro was the uh, main guy. Till I think uh, you're muted. From, fuck, what was that? What was that show with the? Uh, oh, mm-hmm. a great thing or whatever. How Tanjiro was the main character for that. Oh, guy. that's right. Oh my god, yeah. I forgot about that show. Damn, I that, that's all I remember. From Deep that in show. the back of my mind. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say though, because um, because there was like I saw Amy's network talk about like Fire Force, how that's like ending too, and you compare, I saw, yeah, you, you compare like. The force comedy, how we, we criticize so much on Fire Force for having so much force comedy. Oh, yeah. You compare the Demon Slayer, where it's so much more natural. It's just so good. It's like that, mm-hmm. That's how you do comedy. Oh, Justin, uh, Taylor, I have yeah, a question for you guys. Um, so for the comedy, are these the exact same like scenes? I'm assuming they're the, the same scenes that come from the manga. Or are they adding more to it? Mm. If you guys I know remember. Sasha would know for sure, because, you know, he's really big on the, the comedic aspects right, and things. Okay. Um, I want to say they're pretty one-to-one. Okay. There may be like a few like added scenes here and there, but the main like gimmicks and, and jokes are, are pretty spot on. Gotcha. So. 
they're doing a beautiful adaptation as always. They're not skimping anything. If anything, they're adding more just alongside all of the stuff from the uh, the manga chapters. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I think your mic's working now. Is it? Yes. I don't know. Yep, it's, it's working. Giving me, it's working. giving me issues. Never bu- if any, anybody who's listening, never buy a Yeti. Anyways. Whoa! Um, I, I have feel- one. Wow. Excuse me, I'm using the Yeti right now. <laughs> same, <laughs> same. Hate this thing, hate this thing. Anyways. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I agree with Justin. I think it's pretty one-to-one, but to his point, what he was saying earlier about how he didn't remember Tanjiro going this hard or it being quite this detailed, I do agree with that. I think that it, the anime is just really good at, like, um, polishing it up even better than what the manga was. Because the manga, like, I don't know, like, no offense at all. I love the manga, mm-hmm. but some of the art sometimes could be a little bit underwhelming. Well, and yeah. the, they don't have the voice oh, actors no, for either. Sure. Like, the, for voice, sure. the voice actors <laughs> sell it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For me, at least. Sorry, I was <clears throat> really focused on figuring out if there was an army of uh, muscle mice. And I did <laughs> I did confirm there are maybe like 20 of them. Ooh. It's, oh. They show them at the like end, like the neen neen segments that they have at the end of each episode. They showed, uh, they showed the muscle Dude, mice. They could take out an entire wait, country. Wait, is, that, is, that, is that canon, though? Is, is the neen Dude, neen, the neen, neen is, segment canon? I think it's canon uh, enough. That, that I don't know. I don't think that's canon. I don't, that, I don't that, think it's supposed to be canon, though. No, no, no. I think that, unless they're in, like, side chapters or something that I just never bothered to read. With the <laughs> the Omakes, probably. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool. Thoughts I feel on bad. The... I never read Omakes from, like, any series. <laughs> cool. Thoughts on the the uh, the transformation of the of the upper six? Damn it, sorry, and I was just going to ask him that. That was the literal <laughs> next question out of my mouth. Fucking fire, bro. It's as if Gaki <laughs> mastered Ultra Instinct mm-hmm. and she was about to pop <laughs> off. And then fucking the plot armor of the two main characters came in to save him. Made no sense. Like, this is like Dragon Ball Super. Power levels is bullshit. That's, that, was, that was the whole premise of this whole show. As much as I love Tanjiro and uh, uh, Nezuko. Nezuko, like, it, it doesn't make sense for them to all of a sudden just become strong enough to contend against the upper six demon. Like that doesn't make sense to me, yeah. but I'll take it. Nezuko was pretty yeah. badass. Yeah. It's an adrenaline Nezuko rush had a huge too. power creep. creep yeah. 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 Pretty, look, pretty much. Look, I, I, adrenaline I, I, I rush be, should I, I, not give you that much of a problem. Thanks for having me back. Who's got I mean, your back? He crippled him. He like Goose, literally Goose. couldn't get up after that, you know? No. <laughs> Same no. thing with Ultra Instinct. It shouldn't, it shouldn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But then Dragon Ball Super is whatever, because that's like it's 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 got. Like, it already doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's got the history. It's it's whatever. It's, it's fucking Dragon Ball, right? Mm-hmm. But then for Demon Slayer, I was kind of expecting more of a like like some kind of some kind of thing that makes sense. I, I I don't know what the word is, but it has to be like. I know, I know what you're know. talking about. Yeah, that's yeah, it has to make sense, right? I I don't know. I, but like I said. Daki was enough to make it okay for me, so I'll let it pass. Okay, just checking. I'm, check ho- I'm hoping that next episode, uh, I'm assuming that Daki is still like not at a hundred percent yet, so she still has like like another form that's not revealed, and she'll just take care of Nezuko and mm-hmm. uh, Tanjiro just fine. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, the others coming back him up. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, we got to see the like new form of Nezuko as well too, with like the yeah. like floral vines. pattern. Yeah, the vines, the demon horn. Mm-hmm. Yep. The the more grown up yeah. version of Nezuko. She was pretty yeah. badass. Oh yeah, they, yeah. They I, definitely I, focused I on a uh, on on the bosom <laughs> okay. of Nezuko. That's where she was powering up. Yeah, a little oh, bit. She, she definitely. Uh, yep. It's there. Her, 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 her assets got a little bit maybe. better endowed <laughs> yeah. during that. Really? Uh, yeah. She oh. yeah. Yeah. she she hit maturity very fast. Yeah. They revealed the plot a little bit more, of course. But I didn't. I did I I forgot about the horn until. This episode, which yeah. and I remember, oh yeah, that that can, that can keep growing in so many mm-hmm. seasons. So that part made sense to me. I'm just, I'm more on just Tandro, man. Like, Tandro no looks sick though. Shook. I thought Tandro, he still looked really sick with his uh. Like, it it does, looked like I'm, he was I'm transforming saying, in a sense. He was talking about saying, the, the like, power. He sh- <laughs> yeah. He oh yeah. Like yeah. been been like super weak. I agree. After, I agree. Fairly. Bro, yeah, take it. As after, as the deceased brother said, you know. The fact that they're going to all these lengths and something, it's, it just takes one moment for finally something to go wrong. So <laughs> we'll see if they yeah. finally have some re- repercussions for either uh, Tanjiro and yeah. Nezuko. It's kind of, I'm, I'm yeah. so glad you photo was doing this, though. Holy shit. He already had, he, <laughs> he, what, he was already like recovering for like, months at Shinobu mm-hmm. Mansion. Just had to do it again. Um, oh, yeah. He's taking a vacay nope. after this. Oh, yeah. I also <laughs> like, too, that we got to see the... Um, 
the letter from uh, Rengoku's dad. Yeah. That he was writing to Tanjiro, like, while as he was... That was nice. ...kind of back against the wall and stuff, and finally seeing the, the dad, you know, taking the step to move forward. Yeah. I feel the know. same way about him that I feel about Todoroki's dad. <laughs> too little, too late, but fine. <laughs> wow. Hey, there's always redemption. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. Yeah. Everybody has their own opinions for that. Apparently, it's, like, just, just the, you know, the giant wars between those. I don't know about as Demon Slayers, uh, but, I mean, definitely Hero. Because I think Hero also oh. focuses it on a lot more. Mm-hmm. So I was gonna say too. So like because after this episode, like after like it seemed like you know at Tanjiro and Nezuko, like they were kicking ass. It's like are we not gonna get that much of this upper six? I wonder like this season how long how how long she has to last because she was getting her ass kicked so much. And then I mm-hmm. I have a feeling that like that uh, Tengen won't have much trouble against her if he shows up. So. Like, unless she runs away, but even still... I feel like there's going to be a runaway. Like, yeah, Not it's sure. just... It kind of it sounded like it was setting up that like, she, could, she could actually die pretty soon. So I'm like... So that, that's, that just made me wonder, like... Run away and recover. Yeah. Well, the only reason why I say that is because, I mean, I, I just feel like this this arc is supposed to be the Entertainment District arc, and I don't feel like it's going to be... Like, that's, where are we on? I mean, Six like, episodes? Like, eight episodes long? Yeah, it's going to be longer. Like, could be, yeah. I mean, yeah, I know. I'm just saying mm. it could be a, could be a bait... Oh. It could be a bait, or it could be a bait. Somebody else jumps yeah. in. Who knows? You know? Yeah. I'm just like sure the, it's a bait. Just like the damn movie yeah. train. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's well, crazy so. too? I also kind of want to know how Nezuko got away. You know, like in the you know first episode when they kind of go back to Michael Jackson's point of view and they talk about how she got uh, she got away and how for some reason the upper six has to take care of her because you know she managed to somehow get away from him. Uh-huh. Do, you, do you remember that? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, they'll never really... At least I don't remember at this time point. I'll never recall like, them explaining like how oh, yeah. oh, it go. Okay. Is this, uh, is this about when she was going to transfer to a demon the first time? Like when he went to go visit uh, Tanjiro's house? Was yeah, basically when he, he wiped mm-hmm. out everybody else. And just wiped somehow. out the entire yeah. family. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I feel like if anything... Either it is explained and I'm just have horrible goldfish memory, or it was something that the author just never. I mean, Justin, it was like the hot into is just like, yeah, you know, <laughs> it was a long time ago, Justin. Tondro, you know, some some other some other powers to work with, you know. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it could, be a, could be a little bit of a plot hole. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's fine. I, I'm just kind of interested just to see how it happened and or if there was like oh, a, for sure or yeah. or if there was originally like a reason why he left her alive because I feel like yeah. that is also a very high possibility as well. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything about Demon Slayer. 